Hello valued viewers, I hope you're doing very well today, for me at least it's the 9th of June 2023. Yesterday's open beta patch brought a major overhaul to the SA342 Gazelle module in DCS and I figured it's such a big update we really need to make a video to show the changes. Today we'll go over what I consider the main changes. So we now have only three flyable versions, the L, the M and the minigun. The old air-to-air -air Mistral version is still here for AI, but no longer client available. Why? It's because the Mistral missiles have now been added to the L variant. So the L now also does air-to-air. -air. Next, let's look at the changes that apply to all three flyable versions. Updated external textures to PBR standard. Added raindrops to canopy. Interior lighting and reflections updated. Probably most important to all of us is the new flight model completely rewritten and overhauled. I'll put the specifics up on the screen now. But the main thing is, if you remember the old Gazelle flight model, I never liked it. I always found it very blocky, very wooden, unresponsive, not very natural feeling, a bit binary. It now feels a lot better, so I'll put my controls in the bottom left and you can see what I'm doing. I've got much more feel in the collective. I have to add more collective to actually make the thing climb, which is exactly what I prefer. I got much more uh, low range movement, whereas last time, if you remember, you had to put loads of movement into the stick to actually get it to move. And I'm going to be able to actually fly it more or less okay now. Now, I'm not much of a helicopter pilot, as you know, but just for a first time, let me try and do something with this vehicle. Let's just show you that I've got much more fine control now. Ping. Touch and go. <laughs> See? Let me try and land it. I really struggle with the old gazelle. That is ten times easier than it was. We've had an IFF panel added down here. You can push the buttons and stuff, but I have no idea whether any of it is actually functional yet, so I'll have to go and find out. Updated autopilot system. Airspeed altitude hold mode removed for further consideration, apparently. Auto collective removed for further consideration as well. Added light indicators for auto hover, CSV, and heading align, ALV, autopilot modes. An autopilot master switch will not engage or will engage if pitch, roll, or your SAS is disabled. We now have optional colored smoke. We can toggle smoke with that command there. And we can equip smoke in the rear menu or mission editor. All versions now have a modern digital tablet to aid navigation, which is super cool. And I would love to have this in all helicopters, to be honest. You can turn it on, off. You can remove it completely in the mission editor. It tells our ground speed, our bearing, the time, our altitude. You can turn the brightness up and down. And you can zoom in and out. And you can change between map types by clicking on it. Let's now look at the L model specifically. So we have smoke stations left and right, different colors. We have a superfluous antenna we can put on. We have the same IR deflector as we had before and sand filter. We've got new options and stations one and two weapon stations. Station two, we can now have, as we said before, the Mistral air to air missiles, one or two per side. Also, we can have the hot three guided air-to-ground missiles that the M version has, one or two per side. Also, we have a pod, an FN HMP 400, that is a 50 cal machine gun with one, two or 400 rounds. And we also have the eight unguided rockets. Station one, we have the addition of, of course, the M621 20mm autocannon with these 
ammo types. The L model Copilot also has a new sighting system. Above him, we now have a periscope. Press 2 to go through to Copilot. To engage periscope, press up here and disengage, press it again. To control periscope, Vivian periscope slew up, down, left and right. Also, you can change zoom and other options here or the other options can also be driven from this panel that I'm highlighting down the bottom. So we can slew it around, look for targets, zoom in and out with this panel here, you get two field of views. We can change the reticle type, which you would use for stadiometric ranging. It can also be stabilized or non-gyro stabilized with a switch just behind the control stick here. In terms of operation of the HOT-3 missile from this station, I haven't actually tried yet, but presumably it's the same as it is control-wise for the M version. From the pilot seat, otherwise control of the weapons is going to be pretty much the same as it was on on master arm sight twenty mil cannon fifty mil machine gun if I have weapons the same on either side then I could actually use both left and right and fire them at the same time. Also, if you want to go full A-Team style in the Mission Editor, click here and remove the doors. That is a very manly version. The M version is much unchanged, but Vivian camera code overhauled. Vivian multi-crew synchronization improved and AI can now fire the HOT-3 missile. And for the minigun variant, added special option to decouple minigun from head camera view. Added inputs for keyboard joystick control of minigun added inputs for mouse control of minigun and added clickables and inputs for minigun safety sight power brightness and ir laser that concludes my summary of the highlights of the gazelle overhaul i hope that was useful and see you later